it loud. Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! <laughs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! Blood! Good. Are you all right? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Goot, no. Enough, all of you! Karen. But how did you... You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you the same Pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You. You bitch. Everything that happened. It was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. You... If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, sir. Wise words. And now it's time to collect. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean... Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same route. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but what if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. ta -ra, Clive! Remind me never to cross you, Karen. Them rumours wet legs were spreading. 
Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and he's alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. He said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. So, wet legs. You remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, sir. Wise words. And now is time to collect.